Yeah, yeah, yo, what's going on? Nerd mixers, A plusers, A pluses, nerd mixers, nerd and geek pop culture people alike. Because man, look, y'all know what I got for you today, right? Y'all know what I got for you today. Uh, better late than never. The new episode comes on tonight. So I know y'all been waiting on this. So, so treat this as a recap before the new episode comes on. I got the Flash Season 7, Episode 9 review, man. The Flash Season 7, Episode 9, Timeless. Timeless. And the reason it's called Timeless is because we get whales back. Timeless whales comes back for this episode. Don't know if it's just this episode, but my man is just chilling with his wife. Finna kick back watch some television and barry has to come get him to help what's going on basically barry thinks he's found out a way in order to stop nora from killing the other carriers of the other forces already killed the carrier of the strength force trying to protect the steel force and the psych force or whatever that is called you know what i'm saying gotta gotta save them gotta keep them cool but the way he wants to do it is go back in time and stop the forces from being created. The moment they're created, because he gave birth to them, basically, by creating a new speed force, go ahead and stop them from being created by using a tool and absorbing the particles that created the force by going onto the roof the moment they were created and just sucking those particles in to the device that they're going to make. So that that's really interesting to me. In that concept, because Barry, when, when you when you see the situation going down, especially everything after they've been through, you really think that Barry has the right idea on how to do this. Right. Because if the force is never coming to the people, the people still live. They still live the lives they live in. But as of right now, you know, what I'm saying they are the force is part of them and what's going on. So uh, it, it, it's weird because it seems that everybody else, even though they're helping and we're talking about. Cisco, all of them are against what's going on, but but they're going to ride with Barry. You know what I'm saying? Because that's what friends do. You ride for your friends. But Iris is 110 percent against even attempting to do this. And, and that that's it is it, a storyline we've seen before. But this one held a little more weight and it kind of lets you see the forces as people. uh that should be allowed to change rather than just having these abilities and stuff ripped from them. Right. But, uh, Barry ain't having it. Iris, Iris sees things a different way. Um, like B Barry believes what he wants to do is going to save lives, but, um, I Iris ain't with it. I mean, even Joe has to talk with him, uh, and, and, and stuff just kind of sinks into him. You know what I'm saying? Talking about uh, the, the the conversation that Joe and Barry had about kids when he brought up Wally and how Wally was always in trouble and had everything going on. Um, that, that was pretty interesting to me because he he, he tied it to. And, and this is an interesting aspect to me when, you know, future dated, you got uh, excess and Bart Allen, you know, what I'm saying coming into the show. So all this foreshadowing was going on with kids. Is really interesting to me and makes me wonder if this has something to do with how they'll behave you know what i'm saying when they when they step back into the episode i think it's like the 150 episode or something like that uh when they jump in so i'm, I'm pretty curious on that had anything to do about it but joe talking about um how wally was having all these issues and how the man he's become the day that you should give these individuals time to be able to come who you know what i'm saying they might be um because if you think about it a lot of the show's villains have been redeemed like by the time the stories came to an end the the stories they just had with the with the new mirror master you know what i'm saying like she redeemed herself by the time she came to the end and turned around everything's going on they're really good at redeeming villains so why not try to redeem these people who necessarily aren't villains yet not full-fledged you know what i'm saying so um th there's time i'm guessing for them to be saved and turned around um i i had an interesting uh the the conversation that barry cisco said right like like Bar like barry talking to cisco like why can't you why can't you see i'm trying to save him 
You know what I'm saying? He wants to save the dude with the steel force in it. And Cisco like, and because the dude popped up and was like, no, this is me. I don't want my powers to be taken away. Why don't you accept me for who I am? This is who I am. And even Cisco said he doesn't want to be saved by you. He just wants to be given a chance to be himself. And Iris understood that. And then by the end of the episode, all this is sinking in to Barry about what's going on, even though he still goes through with what he's finna do. Um, I tend to think that Iris uh, tends to see the good in people uh, because of everything that she's been through. And uh, she's honestly a hero in her own right because she's trying to find whatever way she can to save people. Um, Barry, Barry thinks with his heart a lot, guys. Like, like Barry thinks with his heart. He lets those betrayals, he's lets those heartbreaks and everything that he's doing uh, cloud his judgment lead his heart astray but they always say that one of the best things with barry is that he 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 treats he, he's a heart you know what i'm saying he treat he's the is he the paragon of love i think he was the paragon of love but he 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 lets his heart weighs heavy on every decision he makes and he really truly does have like a savior complex uh, when it comes to that, but luckily he stepped back and listened to his wife because by the end of the episode, he ended up going ahead and letting them be created anyway, and then is going to do what he needs to do to try to stop uh, Speed Force Nora instead of stopping Psych and uh, Dion. Um, if Barry. Like I said, if ba what was that chick's name? Eva. If Barry and Iris were able to get through to Eva McCullough, that they, I, I feel they'll be able to persuade Psych and Dion to do what they need to do, um, to sway them to the side of good, and even probably be able to help boost Barry's powers in some way. Um, the same way they were able to convince Alexa to take the test and try to help her out before Nora, uh decided to do what she was going to do you know what i'm saying so we'll see we'll see what happens when it comes to that man um it, barry and iris ended up bringing alexa back to life so now they have the strength force on their side and that increases their odds of uh trying to take nora down you know what I'm saying? So hopefully Alexa can find some way to uh, be able to control their powers in order to be able to, because I think they're going to have to team up against Speed Force Nora. It's going to take off. It's going to take Barry, Dion, Psych. It's going to take all of them coming together to be able to do that. And the line that I, I wrote it right here, the line that Joe said that stuck to me is, you never judge your kids for who they are now. You help them become who they know they can be when they grow up so lead with love and that is up to them you know what i'm saying because they're going to end up making the decision that they need to make uh you did have um a interesting th this does to me kind of foreshadow what you got coming in the future as far as all that goes so it's going to be pretty interesting with uh nora and bart um ju jumping up and and doing what they're supposed to do so i feel like this is setting up for whatever complications they're going to have in that uh i'm looking forwarding to that and seeing uh what happens uh the the timeless wells coming back to help out i didn't even ask any even questions he just said y'all need help i'm here to help y'all and since he has the power to time travel that's what they use in order to go back into the past uh so that barry wouldn't mess anything up because timeless wells can go to a fixed point and they just end up doing that. And then he put his little time bubble up or whatever to make sure that nothing could be messed up. Nothing else could be messed up in the timeline. But um, it still hurts to know that uh, Tom Cavanaugh is uh, is leaving the show, man, because like he's he's a mainstay. He's every character he's played on the show has been phenomenal for nah man no and that's something that that's somebody that i'm truly going to miss it's the same with cisco although they they were they they got a couple of people to replace cisco i don't know how the other chick is going to replace wells uh too much but um yeah 
uh, this episode feels like it's starting. Uh, Carlos Valdez is um, goodbye. Um, it, I feel like they did that when uh, Camilla said that she was going to have photos shown in a gallery in San Diego or San Francisco or something like that. And that's probably where the two of them going to end up. Um, uh, cause you ended up Cisco and Camilla are tied together. You know what I'm saying? With being a couple and they both declared their desire to leave central city, uh, by the end of the episode, it, it makes sense, but it's heartbreaking. You know what I'm saying? And, but you do have Chester who to me has shown himself to be a decent replacement. He's even put some, been able to, to do some things, uh, that Cisco hasn't been able to do. But I just love the chemistry of those two together. And when Chess said, man, I wish Nas Wells was here, he came up with the most uh, of these equations for this ASF machine. I feel like he cracked this easy peasy. And then when Barry took off to go get him, you know what I'm saying? That I mean, it was just a really, really good episode. So with Cisco and Wells leave a team flash, um, it's going to be a lot of heartbreak. You know what I'm saying? A lot of crying and stuff that's going on. But um, I think it will be interesting to see how this new team comes together and just buckles down and does the things they need to do because things get a little bit too easy when Cisco and uh, Wells are around anyway. So watching Barry have to put his trust in new people um, could, could carry over, you know what I'm saying, for another season to freshen it up. And possibly end up getting a tenth season too. So we'll see what happens. What did you guys think about this episode? I thought it was actually pretty interesting. Um, I, I really feel like they're foreshadowing something that's coming with the kids. Um, I'm I'm gonna cry when Cisco leaves. I'm gonna cry when Cisco leaves. But hey, you know everybody's got to go at some time. You feel me? Uh, pretty good episode. I can't wait for the episode that's coming on tonight. I'm I'm really really excited for that. And man, between between with the Flash and what Batwoman's been doing, even though the ratings for Batwoman have been down, I think the ratings for both shows have been down a little bit. But they they both have rebounded and been pretty good, especially in the latter half of the season. So I'm um, I'm really looking forward to seeing where they go from here. So you guys put in the comments below how you feel about this episode. Can't wait to get in the comments to talk to y'all. Also, make sure we got a plus opinions. Uh, we got a Patreon, so make sure you guys check that out. Uh, I'll pop the graphic right here for you. Uh, become a patron. Show your support. Join our Patreon. A plus opinions. Uh, with the Patreon, $1, $5, $10 tiers. I think with any tier, you get access to the Discord where we hold a lot of conversations and stuff like that that are going on in the CW verse, video games, Mighty Morphin, just nerd and geek pop culture in general. That's the hub for everything that we do. So you guys come over there and hold conversations with us too. Just go ahead and join us. Be a buck. What's a buck going to do? A buck's going to give you better presentation coming to you guys when it comes to us doing reviews and stuff like that. But it's also going to give you access to the Discord. Where you could be a bigger part of the community, especially when it comes to choosing different things that we do and everything like that. So you guys make sure you go check that out. So as we always do, until next time, keep it A+. This has been a Nerd Mix. Indie out.